Hi there. Good day. Welcome to camglish.com. I am Teacher Karen, and we are here for another lesson about expressions. For today, we have expressions used when someone is very annoying or hurtful. So we can say, "Why don't you rub a little salt?" In the wound. Why don't you rub a little salt in the wound? Why don't you twist the knife in my back? Why don't you twist the knife in my back? You're going to be the death of me yet. You're going to be the death of me yet. You try the patience of a saint. You try the patience of a saint. You really get my goat. You really get my goat. Get one's goat means to annoy. You're driving me up a wall. You're driving me up a wall. Or. You're driving me up the wall. You're driving me up the wall. You're pushing my buttons. You're pushing my buttons. You really know what buttons to push. You really know what buttons to push, and this only means to irritate someone. So again, these are expressions used when someone is very annoying or hurtful. Next, we have expressions used in getting someone to stop doing something. Must you do that? Must you do that? Must you continue to do that? Must you continue to do that? Stop bothering me. Stop bothering me, or stop pestering me. Stop pestering me. Pester means to bother. Quit pestering me. Quit pestering me. Knock it off. Knock it off. Cut it out. Cut it out. Give it a rest. Give it a rest. And it here is pertaining to someone's mouth. Enough already. Enough already. So again, these are expressions used in getting someone to stop doing something.
For today, we had expressions used when someone is very annoying or hurtful, and we also had expressions used in getting someone to stop doing something. So, when someone is bothering you, you can say, "You're driving me up the wall." Or when you want someone to stop doing something, you can say, "Knock it off." So, to learn more about these expressions, you can study with us here in Camglish dot com. Again, this is Teacher Karen saying thank you for listening and goodbye.